Today's video is a bit different, I'm not bringing you a new strategy or an optimization this time, but trust me, you are going to want to watch this one till the end. Just a few weeks ago I came across a short video where someone used an AI tool to analyze a chart and decide what traits to take. And that got me thinking. What if I tested how well an AI chatbot like ChatGPT could predict price movement or suggest solid trade setups using only simple candlestick charts as an input? Now if you know me, when I started designing the test, I went deep. And I mean really deep. I was thinking about a lot of things. Which AI chatbots to use, what assets, what conditions, what time frame, what lookback value, and so on and so on. And honestly, a full-blown test like that would have taken me over a week. So for this video, I decided to start simple. If you guys are interested in a more in-depth test, just let me know in the comments and I will make a full breakdown in a future video. So in this one, I will be testing ChatGPT 5, the latest version currently, to see how well it can predict price direction and recommend profitable trade setups. And doing that with using only candlestick charts. We will test three assets across three different timeframes and see what comes out of it. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's see the testing method. First of all, I will use a prompt to ChatGPT5 telling it what to do. Then I will send a screenshot of a candlestick chart setup with a 50 candle lookback. Here you can see an example of that. If you count these candles, these are 50 candles. After this, ChatGPT can decide to take a long or a short. The third step is to check the trade outcome. In this screenshot you can see how it works, so I set up the trade recommended by ChatGPT and find out if the price hit the take profit level or the stop loss first. And the fourth step is to backtest it. I have altogether 36 examples and then keep a track record of it. Now let's talk about the details. What is the prompt I will use? So I designed a very simple prompt and I'm sure it can be made better. But for this test, I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So let's read it out. I will give you a candlestick chart screenshot with the price scale visible. Analyze the chart and decide if a long trade, short trade or no trade makes the most sense. Entry equals the closing price of the last visible candle. Place a stop loss where you think it makes the most sense based on the chart. Place a take profit at exactly a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio relative to your stop loss. And here you can read about the output recommendation. So we are going to use a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio. I decided to go with this one because with a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio there is always a 50% chance of hitting the take profit and a 50% chance of hitting the stop loss first. So again here you can see an example of what I will send to ChatGPT and what candlestick chart it should analyze. Moving on, let's see the assets, timeframes and the test numbers. So as I mentioned I am using three different assets. I choose BTCUSDT, EURUSD and SPX or the S&P 500 index. Considering timeframes, I choose the 50 minute, the 1 hour and the daily. The 5 minute chart might be also interesting, maybe in the future video I will test that one. And for examples, I will test 4 examples on each of these combinations. So that comes out to a total of 36 tests. And now let's go over 2 examples, then I will show you the results. So if you want to try it out yourself, this is how it goes. This what you can see is a chat GPT conversation. I pasted the exact same prompt we just talked about the one minute ago and the screenshot. I didn't tell anything about this screenshot, which asset it is or what time frame it is, only just pasted the screenshot with the price scale visible. Then ChatGPT did its thing and it gave me a recommendation. In this case, this is the second trade example, he recommended to go short with this entry price, this stop loss setup and this take profit setup. On the bottom you can also read about a short reasoning. So in this case it told me that strong bearish momentum with consecutive large red candles breaking below support suggests continuation to the downside. If we take a look on the chart, we can see that this is probably the support level it was talking about and at the last few candles it really broke down under that support level and it expects the price to go even lower. But is he right? Let's check it. So in this step we are backtesting now the recommendation. Here you can see again the recommended stop loss take profit and entry price. I set up the trade, you can see here. So for stop loss it recommended 94,600. I set up 94,600. And for take profit 93,200. And I set up 93,200. In case of this example, first the take profit was hit right here. So this was a winning trade. After we checked out the trade, we will take the results into a track record, like this one. So the second example I just showed you is for the BTCUSDT 50 minute chart with a look back of 50 candles. This is the latest candle date that I sent to ChatGPT, the entry price it gave me, 
the proposed stop loss placement and the proposed take profit placement. And at the end, I note if it first hit the take profit or the stop loss. If it hit the take profit first, it gets one there. And if it hit the stop loss first, it get a one there. Okay, let's see one more example, then I will reveal the results. So this is the 35th trade. This is for SPX daily, I think. So again, I just pasted the prompt we talked about earlier and the screenshot of the chart, and it gave me a recommendation. This time, a long trade with this entry price, this stop loss price, and this take profit price. The reasoning was, the chart shows strong upwards momentum with higher lows and a continuation pattern forming. Entering long targets the continuation of the bullish trend. Let's see. So yes, we can see that after this downtrend, the price starts to move upwards, making higher highs and higher lows. So at this point, ChatGPT thinks that a long trade is the best one. In my opinion, I think this price will come back a bit down to this level and then continue upwards. Let's see if either me or ChatGPT is right. And here is the backtesting part. So this was what I sent to ChatGPT and here I set up the trade. And yes, first the price just pulled back a little bit and then started going upwards. It was close to hit the stop loss, but at the end it hit the take profit first. So this was another winning trade. Again, back to the track record. So this example was the 35th trade on the SPX or S&P 500 daily chart with again the 50 lookback candles. This was the date of that candle entry price, the stop loss price, and the take profit price. And as it hit the take profit first, we give one point to the take profit. Okay, so that's basically it. Pretty simple, you can try it out yourself. Are you ready for the results? Let's see. So here are all the 36 trades I checked. I checked BTC USDT on 50 minute, one hour and daily, Euro USD on 50 minute, one hour and daily, and SPX on 50 minute, one hour and daily for examples on each of these combinations. So first of all, let's count how many wins and how many losses we get. As we are using a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, if we get at least one more wins than losses, then this was profitable. If not, then it wasn't. So we got a total of 11 winning trades and a total of 22 losing trades. Those results are pretty bad. This means that it would have been better to do the opposite what ChatGPT recommended each time. Now let's take a look on a few more stuffs here. So on the BTC USDT 50 minute chart, we got two wins and two losses. That's break even results. On the one hour on the BTC USDT chart, we got only one win, but two losses and one no trade. So this is a loss. And on the daily, which was really surprising for me, ChatGPT got all of the trades wrong. Why it surprises me is because the higher the time frame we use, the easier to trade it and the easier to predict the next movement. Well, for ChatGPT, it might not be. On the Euro USD 15 minute chart, we got three losses, one wins. On the one hour, four losses, zero wins. On the daily, again, one win and three losses. So trading both the BTC USDT or the Euro USD resulted in a massive loss. But on SPX or the S&P 500, we got different results. On the 15 minute, two losses, one win, so that is not profitable. But on the one hour, ChatGPT got all the four trades right, which looks pretty good. Of course, four trades is not a statistically significant result, but we should do a deeper backtest on that. And on the daily, we got one win and two losses. So SPX one hour chart is the only one that I am interested about right now. Let me know what you think. And to close out the video, here are a few things I'm thinking about trying out in a future testing video if I continue this one. First, we should try a different prompt variation. For example, sending a sentence like, you are a pro trader with 20 years experience. When I'm doing work with AI, I usually use these kinds of sentences. For example, when I do coding with it, I tell it that you are a pro PineScript coder with a 20 years experience. I don't know if it helps. For me, it looks like it helps. If you have any experience, just let me know. I'm interested about that. The second point is that we should try out other chatbots like Gemini, Grok, Claude, or DeepSeek, maybe some of those are better in this task than others. Third point, trying different risk reward ratios or letting the AI decide altogether. So in this example, I used a one-to-one -one fixed risk reward ratio, but maybe if I would let ChatGPT decide, it would have used a one-to-two, a one-to-three, or a 0 0.5 to one. Fourth point, trying bigger or smaller lookback size might change the outcome. So instead of giving it a 50 candle lookback, maybe giving more like 200 candle lookback can help. 
fifth, letting the AI know which market and time frame we are looking at. So here I was thinking, maybe if it knows that we are working with the BTC USDT one hour chart, it might give a more precise or a more asset specific recommendation because Bitcoin moves way differently compared to Euro USD or the SPX. So this might be a good thing to try. And finally, allowing advanced trade management options like move stop loss to break even, trading stop loss or partial exit. In my experience with every strategy, trade management is one of the most important things. Not the entry, not the exit, but how you manage the trade. If you just use a simple fixed take profit and stop loss, the trade can start going into your desired direction and then turn around hitting the stop loss. But if you have a trading stop loss setup, for example, then you can protect yourself from losing on a trade that almost hit the take profit level. And that wraps up today's test. So what do you think? Should I go deeper and test this with the more AI tools, assets and advanced conditions, or should I drop the idea altogether? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment, it really helps the channel grow. And if you want to try my free strategy scripts, check out the strategy ranking spreadsheet down in the description. Or you want to support the channel, then go over to my Patreon shop, again link is in the description, where you can buy more complex strategy scripts, private strategy coding or private optimization. And if you are looking for my best performing strategies and optimized scripts made to be used as an automated trading bot, make sure to check out this video on my main TradeSmart channel. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day and until next time, trade smart!